what is up everybody welcome for the first time or back to another dlj works video and this video is going to be a nice little tutorial i'm going to show you how you could turn any real image into a silhouette how you could actually turn human beings this in maybe a portrait i don't know some class photo whatever the case may be using the quick selection tool and the color overlay technique feature in photoshop you could practically make anything into a silhouette at will. So the first thing that we're going to do, I have Photoshop already open, so that's a given. So I'm going to go to file and I am going to open. All right, let me go to, I saved it to my desktop. So let me find that, this real watermarked Alme image or 123RF image that I already have. Um, I'm going to make a duplicate of this. So I'm going to hit Control J. And there we have a duplicate of this image. If you want, you can hit Command J again and make another copy. You can rename it as you need to. And I'll just name this Man 2. And I'll click off of that. Rename this one. And we'll just put Man 1. Wherever you want to name it. The naming over here doesn't really matter at this moment. So we, we it's nice to always have duplicate copies just in case you make any drier mistakes you can drier dire mistakes you can easily either blind it and continue to work on the layer that you're actually doing or whatever whatever it is that you actually need the backup for all right so now that we have our image over here let's go ahead and let's zoom in okay we're going to take this guy running and when you're using a quick selection tool zooming in is highly effective to really get those details and make sure that you're getting as much of the person in the image as possible so this watermark isn't going to really matter because it's going to color overlay over that so i'm going to go ahead and select here i'm not going to zoom in too much this is enough all right i may have to do it on the fingers so we'll go ahead and do that in a second okay we'll go in on the fingers here in a little bit all right i'll get that click on that Click on the feet down here. Okay, little areas where the quick selection is kind of picking up things that you really don't want. You want to zoom in and really get the details out with that. All right, so it looks like I got too much, so I'm going to just go ahead and subtract that selection and also a selection here. It's connecting. Okay. All right, so we have a pretty good selection of our guy here. So now what I want to do, I want to come over here and I want to zoom in. There is a keyboard shortcut to zooming in. I don't know what it is right now. I forgot it. So we'll just use this method. So I wanted to go kind of go down to the fingers. So I'm going to double click. Okay, good. Now I'm going to go back to my quick selection tool. All right, and... Let's see here if I can make this just a tad bit smaller. Okay, perfect. I don't want to kind of kind of get in there. Okay, we really have to go in just a little bit deeper again, really get those details out. As you zoom in, you make this as small as you possibly need to. Okay. All right, because the image is pretty pixelated when you get to this point. You can only subtract as much as you can. But we want to get as much of it to get as close as possible to what we need. And see, I've even missed this watch image here, so I'm going to go ahead and quick select that too as well. Okay, perfect. All right. All right, so. All right, now I'm going to zoom back out. I'm pretty satisfied with this. Let me go ahead and try to get more of that. All right, there we go, excellent. So now I'm gonna zoom back out. All right, come over. 
Let's take a look at the hands here. And I probably didn't have to zoom out. I probably could have went on ahead and just kind of moved on over. I'm going to use that same technique. Kind of get as much of the fingers here as possible. All right, perfect. Now I could choose to do the hair and I'm gonna get that area here in a second. But I'm gonna go up here to see how much. All right, for the most part, I'm pretty satisfied with the way that this is right now. So let me go ahead and let's go back to the hand. So I'm satisfied with that. So now I'm gonna go back to my quick selection. Okay, perfect. All right, let's zoom back out and see where we're at on our entire thing. Double check over to make sure that there's no other linings that will get into your silhouette creation. All right, everything looks good. Let me go ahead and check the feet. And that is not it. All right, going down. Let's get rid of those lines. We don't need those. All right, let's. All right, go back to the hands. All right, so far so good. I like where this is going. All right, perfect. Let's go back out. I'm gonna zoom out. All right, excellent. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn blind that off because when I go ahead and I refine, when I refine this, going back to my quick selection, refine edge. All right, I wanna be able to see how everything is looking so far and everything is pretty, pretty clear for the most part. From a distance, this is what we want our guy to actually look like. If I wanna zoom in and actually kinda of get more. Uh oh, I thought I hit, okay, that did not. Okay, that won't let me zoom. All right, that will not let me click my zoom in feature right now. So, but for the most part, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a smart radius. We'll go ahead. So when you do a smart radius, basically what it's going to do is gonna kind of smooth out those rough edges. You can also do that with the smooth button, just kind of turning it up a little bit. All right, I don't want to feather anything. I'm gonna shift the edge some. Then we're going to decontaminate the colors. All right, just a little bit. So the whole point of me adjusting the settings as small as I actually did was to kind of smooth everything out. And if I can, and it won't actually let me, let me see here. For now, it won't let me actually zoom in. But like I said, just adjusting those settings as small as I did was to kind of round out and shape everything on my guy here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to new layer. Cause what I actually like to do is I like to just go ahead and create a new layer of my image guy and just kind of blind all the other layers. And let's see how this actually came out. So I'm gonna hit okay. All right, cool. And you can also, if you go ahead and do that, it'll bring it back in. So you can kind of compare to see what your, how well your cutout actually came out to be versus what the original image looked like. So now what I'm going to do Let's see, let me go ahead and see now. Just be able to zoom in like I want to. 
And for the most part, like I said, it's I'm pretty satisfied with how this actually how he actually came out to look. Everything looks smooth, crisp. We have a running guy right now, just like I want. So now I'm gonna zoom back out. Right there. Okay, let's move him over some. Let's maybe make him a little bit larger. Uh oh, that's too large. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but that's a little too large. Okay, perfect. Now, now I've resized him. I'm going to go to FX. I'm going to go to color overlay. And boom, there we have it. Our very own silhouette guy. Let's make him black. And when you go to color overlay, when you go to color overlay, you can make them in any way that you actually need to. Any color that you so choose. You can turn the opacity down. But like I said, we're trying to make a pure silhouette pattern here just out of any human being. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And voila, you have your very own cutout silhouette. And you could do this with any image. I know if you go to Google and you're searching for any silhouette that's available, any pixel art on, well, yeah, pixel art online, not pixel art, I'm getting this wrong, vector images, not pixel art, vector images, silhouettes. If they don't have exactly what you're looking for, this is one technique that you can actually do to save yourself some time and make those sort of customizations at your own leisure. That's going to be it for this video. If there's something that I did not clearly explain in this little tutorial, please leave a comment below and let's talk about it. More videos like this to come in the future. But for now, make sure that you watch the other videos that you see in this corner. You can't see me point. Left corner, right corner, wherever. Subscribe. You know what to do. DLJ Works, signing off. See y'all in the next video.